So my last one of these videos on Jay Sean Augusto went down extremely well and in the comments everyone wanted to hear about this guy right here. In this video I'm going to be talking about 7th Woods, where are they now? But first, I'm going to talk about why this guy was so famous. So 7th Woods was born the 7th of August 1998 and has currently just finished his freshman year in college. But a few years ago when he was an 8th grader, his mixtape went viral as the best 14 year old player in the nation. He played like he was a high school senior, averaging 14.6 points per game at varsity level as an 8th grader, which is incredible. 7th Woods developed extremely, extremely early, and even by looking at him you would have never guessed this guy was 14. He could jump out of the gym, he could handle, he actually played quite good defense, he was blocking shots, and he was probably the best 14 year old dunker I have ever seen. But the thing is, at 14 years old, 7th Woods was still listed as 6 foot 2. Even though surprisingly enough now he's only listed as 6 foot 1. So obviously 7th Woods developed very very early physically, which is why he was so dominant at a young age. In his freshman year, 7th Woods averaged 19.3 points per game and led his team to a 22-5 record and won his high school's player of the year. In his sophomore year, he averaged 20 a game while also averaging 4 steals and 3.8 assists per game and won the South Carolina Basketball Player of the Year and was selected for the USA Under-16 national team. In his junior year, he actually only averaged 16.3 points per game and also averaged less assists per game and less steals per game, but he did play AAU ball that summer and averaged 16.9 points per game. In his senior year, he averaged 18.9 points per game, 4.5 rebounds per game, 5 assists per game, which while it was less points than his freshman and sophomore year, he did average more assists and more rebounds per game in his senior year. So Woods was a 4-star recruit according to ESPN and also the number 5 54 prospect in the nation, which is still extremely, extremely good. Especially because you often see people that develop as early as he did, they, that develop as early athletically and are just that much better than the competition at a young age. A lot of the time you see them dropping off, but the fact that he stayed as the 54th best prospect in the nation is still really, really good. Because I know the Jay Sean Augusto thing, I kind of sound like I was almost talking down on. Jay Sean Augusto could make the NBA. He's better than 95% of the world in basketball. And even though Seventh Woods is no longer the best player his age, he's no longer the best 14 year old player in the nation. By the end of his high school career, he was still in the top 100, which is extremely, extremely good. Better than 99% of the country. So that was Seventh Woods high school career. But you guys probably know a lot of that. Now I'm gonna talk about where Seventh Woods is now. In Seventh Woods freshman year for the University of North Carolina, he played in all 40 games and was a key rotation player for the team, averaging 7.7 .7 minutes per game, 1.5 points, 1.4 rebounds and 1.2 assists per game. He struggled big time from the 3 point line shooting only 18% but he did shoot very very few for the year, only 11 shots. You might be wondering why the number 54 ranked player in the country didn't play too much. North Carolina were already sorted at the point guard position and he was one of four point guards on the roster. He was playing behind Joel Berry II who was one of the best players on the North Carolina team last year. Joel Berry II played 30 of the available 40 minutes at the point guard position so it didn't give a lot of room for 7th Woods to play too many minutes. Joel Berry II actually declared for the NBA draft but withdrew right before the deadline. So if he hadn't have withdrawn from the draft it there was a good chance that 7th Woods would have stepped in as a starting point guard for next season for the North Carolina Tar Heels. And with how good that college is, if he did become the starting point guard and he had a breakout year, there was a good chance that he could have gone to the NBA after his sophomore year. But obviously Berry's returned for another year so he's more than likely not going to start, definitely not going to start at the point guard position. But who knows what's going to happen, he could bump up his minutes to around 15 minutes per game, while more than likely that's not going to be enough for any NBA teams to look at him and think of drafting him. More than likely what's going to happen with 7th Woods is he will play out his 4 years in college. Like That's the most likely thing to happen and who knows, when he's an upperclassman in his junior and senior year, he could be one of the best players on a North Carolina team that, who knows, makes the final 4 or even wins an NCAA championship. So when looking at his chances of making the NBA, it's always a really hard one to tell. And to be honest, I can't tell when he's going to make the NBA. Not a single person watching this is going to be able to tell if he makes the NBA. It's going to be his choice if he drops out of school early when he applies for the draft. And it's the NBA teams, to be honest, to choose whether he plays in the NBA or not. But one thing is for sure that with his talent, with his basketball ability and his athleticism, 
He's good enough to play professionally in nearly every league in the world. Possibly not the NBA, but he's good enough to make a career out of his talent, out of what he seems to have done best for his entire life. So yeah, that's the video. That is where Seventh Woods is now. I know you guys love the J. Sean Augusto one, so if you guys want to see more of these, just leave names in the comment section. I will try to do some of them. I'm not going to be doing one every day because these videos I really like making, but I think I don't want to oversaturate you guys with them. I might try to do maybe one max two of these a week. But with Seventh Woods was a really interesting one because a lot of the time, as I said at the start, when you see players physically develop really early, that they do struggle as the years go on. And while he's no longer as dominant, he's no longer the best player in the nation like he was when he was 14 years old, he still graduated well inside the top 100, almost a top 50 player in high school. He's playing for one of the best college programs in the nation. And who knows, in his third, fourth year in college, and maybe even next year, he's gonna be a major contributor for that really, really good program. And again, Will he make the NBA? Who knows, but he's 100% good enough to make a career out of basketball. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.